everyone, this is Sadie at UW Botanical Gardens and today I'm going to be giving you an update on our What's in Bloom Big Bloom display. So right now I'm at the front gate and we're going to start out here and see what bulbs lasted really well through the two frosts we had last week and see how they're holding up. So to start off, like I said, we're up at the front gate and I just wanted to show you guys how much color we still have after that frost. So you can see a lot of the pinks and purples have faded, but we're still left with a blushing portion of this mixture with all of the oranges, reds, and whites. And they still look really, really good. So you can see them there. And when the frost came, you can see a lot of the petals on the pinks and purples just kind of fell off. But it still looks fantastic out here. So real quick, this video is going to jump around the gardens quite a bit, but I'm going to cut portions out so you guys don't have to watch me walking around. But I want to show you some really cool species tulips that we planted this year in the parking lot island. So we'll walk through the gate real quick and look at those. And then we're going to jump up to the visitor center and get an update on what's going on out there. Alrighty, so in this bed, we have three different species tulips planted. So we have Tulipa acuminata, and then Tulipa little beauty and little princess. So the acuminata is this really weird, funky flame looking tulip. And these are species tulips, so they will come back every year as perennials, which is fantastic. So hopefully they'll naturalize in this bed in the parking lot. But that's Tulipa acuminata. And then there's smaller ones here, which actually did get hit by the frost a little bit. And I forget which one's which, but there's Little Princess and Little Beauty. I think the Little Beauty might be the pink one. The orange might be Little Princess. But you can see those there. They're very, very tiny compared to other tulips. And they should naturalize very well. So that's all for the front gate and parking lot. So we'll walk through the gardens and take a look at other things that are blooming. So now we're up at the visitor center and I just wanna show you this display real quick. I haven't been super impressed with what we designed out here, but that's okay. It's all an experiment. We're all learning, so that's fine. But what happened is there's so many hyacinths planted in here. We had that beautiful white display of hyacinths early on and the tulips aren't near as dense. Um, so it kind of looks really scraggly and messy right now. So I think next year we'll have to do an equal portion of tulips that bloom later so that we have more of a show um, around our big plant sale. So in here we have a really beautiful tulip. It just needs to be planted more densely is the World Expressions. And it didn't really get hit by the frost. There's a couple that are a little yellowing and browning, but they still look really, really good in this bed. And I really like the coloring. I just think next year we can do a better job at designing this bed to make more of an impact when people come visit. So that's just all I have to note in here in the visitor center planting. But other things that we have blooming, this video is kind of gonna be all over the place, but we had some of our first peonies bloom. So I'll just show you a couple of those while we're out here. And these also got hit by the frost a little bit, but there's some blooms that hadn't opened up yet. So you can see the very beautiful, ginormous blooms on these guys. And they look really, really great. So we have a lot of tree peonies and other herbaceous peonies starting to bloom throughout the gardens, but that was one of the very first. Then here's a tree peony that's in bloom. And these buds are ginormous. So I don't know if you can tell, they're quite big and they produce these fantastic, large, bright flowers. And then next we'll jump up to the castle display. 
Now that we're up at the castle, you can see the display looks absolutely phenomenal. And if any of you came out and saw the big bloom last year, the tulips that we planted in here were Foxytrot and Foxtrot, a pink and orange mix of peony type tulips. And we got a late frost then as well, and they were completely dead afterwards. So I'm really impressed that this display has stayed so beautiful through those two frosts. And I've definitely learned my lesson about planting some of those more sensitive late bloomers like the peony types. But it just looks absolutely wonderful still. And you can see some of them kind of flopped over and kind of froze that way. But they still look fantastic. And you can see some of them like this kind of flopped over and froze that way. So it looks kind of funny, but it's still really, really beautiful. And all of these tulips did equally as well in here. So I'm very pleased with this display. You can see some more peonies up against the house blooming. For the most part, all of the tulips that we had planted in containers are done. Um, not so much because of the frost, but just because they were a little bit of an early bloomer, so they're finished up. But there's one tulip up here that I really want to show you guys. I don't think I've shown you yet. And I'm just really impressed with this one. And I think I want to use it more in other displays for next year. So this is a parrot type tulip. And this is Green Wave as the cultivar. And I just think that is absolutely stunning. It's definitely very weird. But I love the frill of the petals. And the different colors on it as well. I think that one's just really pretty. So that's it for this area and we'll jump into the walled garden. In the walled garden, we have this zigzag geometric pattern or design going on, which is done extremely well. The only critique I have for it is if the hyacinths weren't hyacinths. So we need all later blooming things for this display to really make an impact. But the tulips that we have in here have been blooming for a really long time and the frost did not set them back at all. So you can see them there. And let me check on the names. I'm pretty sure the white one is white flag and the purple is purple lady, I think. Oh, actually the tulip is Gwen. And if you guys came out last year, we had Gwen planted in front of the glass house and it did phenomenal because it was blooming like crazy during plant sale. So it looked fantastic. And yeah, the purple one is Purple Lady. And they're both doing extremely well despite the frost we had. So next we're going to go into the event lawn planting. And in here, the tulip that's blooming is Queen of Night. And I think this one actually might be white flag is the white tulip. So there's the dark purple, almost black tulip cultivar. Absolutely beautiful. One of the darker tulips you can get. And they just look phenomenal here. And if you remember an earlier video, the hyacinths that were here were pink. And then we had the whites come in for the mid bloom. And now the queen of the nights are finishing off the display. But absolutely beautiful. Definitely gonna be using queen of the night again. So now we'll head to the rock house and then we just have a couple more beds to finish up this update. The rest of the gardens are looking fantastic. The frost definitely hit some things like some hostas are a little mushy. The Japanese painted ferns were hit pretty good and a lot of the trees like magnolias and Japanese maples definitely took a hit from the frost. 
so we'll see if they bounce back. So the rock house planting has definitely been one of my favorites of this year. And you can still see the purple tulips blooming away. They're starting to fade. And this is the purple dream cultivar. And I've been extremely impressed with this selection. It's lasted against the wind, against two frost, and it's still standing tall. Some of them are falling apart, but that's expected. And it's just done really, really well in here. So the last two things we'll look at are the greenhouse raised bed planter and the planter is down by the pavilion. So for the greenhouse planters, these bulbs didn't do extremely well. Um, Jacob, nur our nursery and greenhouse manager noticed that some of them had this weird discoloration and we think it might be tulip blight. So hopefully I'll be able to find a couple of bulbs to show you. Um, but you can see those definitely got zapped by the frost. And here's kind of what all of the tulips looked like. So we had a yellow one, and then we had this red and yellow variegated one. And they all had these brown speckles on them, and they just did not perform well. And all of the yellow ones stayed extremely, extremely short. So we'll have to address that for next year to see if it's something in the soil that's causing it but they just did not look good this year. So that's one that was definitely impacted by the frost and it could have been because it was sick, but we'll see for next year. And then the last one, which I'm extremely impressed by because it's a peony type tulip, is this blue spectacle down here in the planters. So we'll go take a look at that. As I mentioned earlier around the castle, for last year's display, we had tons of peony type tulips planted and the one frost we got just completely destroyed them. So you can definitely tell there's still a lot of beautiful color with these and they look phenomenal. So that's Blue Spectacle and they've just done really well and I'm very impressed with this one. The only thing I noticed with these with the frost is some of them kind of flopped like they did at the castle and kind of froze that way. So you have this very architectural stem, which I don't mind at all, but the flowers still look really beautiful. So that's it for the Big Bloom What's in Bloom display update. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It, documenting the Big Bloom was a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And hopefully I'll be doing more videos on Wednesdays about other things that are blooming in the garden. So I'll look forward to that and thanks for watching.